वेलकम टू आर पी इंस्टीट्यूट एंड रिसर्च सेंटर न्यू डेली दिस इज दीडियो ऑफ ए इंटूमिसेंट पर्ली वाइट मिचन और कैटरेक्ट वी कैन वेरी क्लियरली सी अ वाइट एंड सोल एंड लेंस हेयर एंड वी ऑल नो दैट हैंडलिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ कैटरेक्ट इज ऑलवेज अ चैलेंज दीज चैलेंज आर प्राइमरी बिकॉज ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ दीज केसेस हैव ए वेरी थिन एंड फिजाइल कैप्सूल देर इज एबसेंट रेड रिफ्लैक्स most of these cases have a very high intral ventricular pressure and because of this high intral ventricular pressure they are always prone to develop capsular tear so creation of well sized ccc becomes the most challenging step in these cases and uh, to achieve a successful ccc we must stain the anterior capsule so here i am injecting 0.06% of trypan glue in the anterior chamber under the air and once the anterior capsule is stained i'm injecting dispersive viscoelastic to pressurize the anterior chamber and flatten the anterior capsule before we initiate the capsular exit it's always better to use forceps in these cases so that you have a better control over the progression of the rexis and always start from the center after the evacuation of the intral ventricular fluid always aim for a little smaller rexis because most of these cases have a soft nucleus so we don't need very large rexis and at the same time the smaller rexis would always prevent the radial extension of the tear so as we can see here i have created a rexis of around 4.5 to 5 mm in size a little smaller rexis and once the rexis is complete Uh, the nucleus is already free so we don't need to do too much of hydro procedure and uh, but we can see that the nucleus is not that soft it's a bit of firm nucleus and a lot of uh, cortical fluid is there so this kind of nucleus uh, is generally difficult to hold them and uh, cut them so what i'm going to do in this particular case is i'm going to use a splitter So this is the splitter, the nucleus splitter. If we can split these nuclei into two or four pieces, it would be very easy to draw them and emulsify. So you can see here, I'm trying to hold the nucleus, impaling it from the center and held the nucleus. Then I'm slightly drawing the nucleus, see the edge of the nucleus, and then hooked it, and then split it. So you can see that I have split the nucleus into two complete free segments, a through and through segmentation of the nucleus. and uh, then i'm trying to further split the first hemi nuclei into two more pieces and then the second one again into two pieces so we have a multiple pieces now here are three pieces and we can very simply draw these pieces on the fico probe and emulsify so it's very easy to draw because since you have a very free pieces so you're not going to have any problem in drawing these uh, segments although they are soft pieces but uh, still if you have a free segmentation it becomes so easy to draw them on the fico probe and emulsify so it's being emulsified all the pieces and this is the last piece of the nucleus which is left and is emulsifying this last piece also and this is how we have completed the the emulsification of the nucleus once nuclear emulsification is complete we can very clearly see that there is in much of cortical material but we could see a lot of fluffy and sticky material which is stuck on the anterior as well as the posterior capsule with a lot of debris also on the posterior capsule this is the common problem we come across in these intumescent cataracts and uh, the important point is because this all material has to be cleared you have to polish it and clear it so here i'm using by manual irrigation and sandblasted aspiration cannula so this sandblasted cannula helps to polish and clean up the debris as well as these sticky sticky material on the capsule so you can see here very nicely clearing the anterior as well as the posterior capsule and uh, once this cleaning is complete you can see the posterior capsule is a uh, completely clear posterior capsule and then comes the intraocular lens implantation and uh, this is the single piece iron which uh, i have injected into the capsule bag and 
With the help of uh, a dialer, I'm fixing the iron in the capsule bag. This is how the lens is fixed. And then the remaining disco material has to be aspirated with, again with irrigation and aspiration formula. The disco has to be removed from the back of the lens also. It's always better. And then once the disco is completely removed, the wound is to be hydrated completely. And this is how the surgery is complete. So thank you friends for watching this video.